nothing to start it's getting late why don't we call it a day i could easily go for a drink watching you shrink this isn't easy to say but i like to get over i'd like to get over you ooh, 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 ooh. never knew love was a fad you pulled me bad wish you were easy to hate but i'm stuck in the middle for now wondering how i entertain this debate and i Just long enough for me to tell you what I came up here to say. Dinner for two lost its taste when I embraced all of your leftover bait. And I wish we had never gone stale. But who could tell your expiration date? Oh, I like to get over. I like to get over you. Still. Break so you're coming with us to yoga class on Friday? Don't know. Don't want to embarrass the amateurs with my skill. Yes. You know, you, you really don't have to be so rude oh, about please. my... It's a beret, Paul. You can't wear a hat like that and not expect to take okay. some kind of criticism. We have a non-fat cap, no whip, a sugar-free caramel, and a full-fat chocolate muffin. You know, if you're looking to lose weight... You know what? I'm good. Thanks. Are you sure? Because no, they're no. really brilliant. Thank you. Okay. So, how is the moldy fruit stand? Why, it's better than your wanker hats galore. It's Walter's hats and more, and you know that. <laughs> so, who's winning this game, anyways? Did you know what you're doing? I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm way ahead. <laughs> All the moves. <laughs> it's not about that. No, it's, it's oh, where. I've got to get back to the stand, okay? Come here later. To mean. Just what I say. I guess that I should have known. Throw the first stone. If you feel perfect today, oh, I'd like to get over. I'd like to get over you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hello, dear. It's Tiny, your mother, just making sure you weren't really there. Listen, I've been thinking, why don't you go out more? Maybe spend a little less time at your grandfather's fruit stand and stop hanging out with those loser friends of yours and go on some dates. I'm sure there are plenty of men out there who would... Uh, well, okay, there has to be a few good men left out there your age. 25 is no spring chicken. Before you know it, your eggs will stop being created and your chances at fertilization go down at least.
Roger. Hello. Hiya, it's... Oh, you have caller ID. Yeah, it's me again. Listen, I just wanted to report a case of underage smoking on 8th and Cherrywood. Well, yeah, I do believe it's an emergency. say this was going to practically be a private lesson. I thought at least I'd have Paul here to make fun. Paul said he didn't want to be the only man here. He does know that no one actually considers him a man, right? <laughs> and lift up all the way to the ceiling. Inhale. Good job. Nice. Now bend all the way over, back to your knee. Take a deep breath in here and step out all the way with two feet backwards. You think if I put some breadcrumbs down, she would follow a trail? Shh! <laughs> yeah, one of these days you're really gonna hurt somebody's feelings. Oh, please. If I hurt their feelings, it's her own fault for being too sensitive. <gasps> Priscilla, get back a downward dog. <sighs> Today. You don't remember me, do you? Oh Lord, we didn't date, did we? You wish. I was here last week, I bought some pears. Well, cheers for coming back. Oh, you're not gonna like what I have to say. You sold me some bad fruit. Well, it's all fresh, so I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. Look at this. Look at it. It's all mushy. And you bought this last week? Yes. Well, I think it's doing rather well for being that old. Well, I don't think it should be mushy like it is. It's a bad piece of fruit and I want my money back. Well, I'm just not going to do that. Listen, you bought this last week and it's still edible. But it's all mushy. I like my pears firm. So you should have eaten it last week. I just want my money back. Don't make me start a fuss. Oh, no, not a fuss. How will I ever survive you making a fuss? Fine. Have it your way. Moldy fruit stand is a rip off. I ate its fruit and it made me cough. Moldy fruit stand is a rip off. Oi, what are you doing? I have the right to express my opinion in protest. You should have just given me the money back. Oh, why don't you Moldy just... fruit stand is a rip off. I <laughs> it. Oi, mate, cut it out. I don't have to. Right, but you're wasting your time. Mind your own business. None of your affair. Face it, lad. No one's going to look at you and think that you're a fruit expert. Hey. And don't get me wrong. Your poetry's bang on. Rhyming rip off with cough. Brilliant. Like you could do better. A monkey with a typewriter could do better. You seem like the type of person I usually like watching make a fool out of himself, but not at the expense of this pretty lady's business. Oh, what? This old thing? I, I just put it together this morning. I'm sorry. What? Shut up, you! Hey, listen, mate. You can hang around here being a git all day, or you can cut your loss and move on. Fine. You may have won this one, 
But don't think I'm not gonna blog about this. And just so you know, she ain't that pretty. Nice, mate. Classy. Well, thank you for that. I mean, I could have taken care of it, but... No worries, my pleasure. Regardless, I feel like I owe you something. Uh, uh, blimey, I've got to run. Nice meeting you. But we didn't really meet. Uh, uh, have a great day. Wait! Yeah? I at least owe you this. Oh. Right. Maybe next time. Manny's an interesting name. Huh. Rhymes with tranny. Or panty. Sort of. What's it you do? I'm a social worker. Hopeless cases. Mainly in grief counselling. You know, uh, the ones at the end of their rope. <laughs> like those people who say, my life is so terrible, I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> those sort of people. Something like that, yeah. What about those people who are so lazy that they don't take care of their own hygiene? Is that some sort of disease? Oh, maybe they do take care of it, but they've got some sort of glandular problem. I couldn't really say. I'm not really well versed in the physical workings of the more troubled people. My job is to spot the outward manifestations before it's too late. Priscilla? Listen, this was so fun, but, um... Ooh, yeah, I could go. My friend Roger, he's, um... He's having problems right now. Dental problems. Good night, Roger. Is this a brood mare? Ron. I don't know. I don't, I don't, oh. Okay. Sorry. All right. Ron. Four letter name of a man who should really take the strong hints given by friends and stop wearing ridiculous berets. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Nice. So that was your, your date. Wretched. His hair was so oily I honestly considered having him lean over my bike chain. <laughs> Right, so what was the name of the shrew and the timing of the shrew? Oh, that was Priscilla. Oh, so. just weak. <laughs> it's like you're not even trying. Sorry. It's Kate. Huge. Oh, Kate. Hey, Priscilla. Mm. Yeah, there's this guy I work with. I could set you up if you're interested. Attractive? Well, yeah. <laughs> Agreeable. Very. Fine, I'll do it. Smashing. <laughs> But if you just keep in mind that, you know, 
I do have to work with the fella, so... So what? So, so... If you don't get on with the guy, if you could just... Oh, for crying out loud, Karen, spit it out! <clears throat> I'm, I'm sorry, Karen, if I may. The thing is, if you don't get along with him, if he's not the man of your dreams, perhaps you could let him off easy. Not explain to him why he doesn't live up to your exceptional standards. And that way he's not crying at home alone the night after the date. I am a lady, you know? And if you can't take a little criticism from a lady, you're no sort of man. If anything, it makes you more of a lady than I am. Well, I think the thing is, we just don't want a repeat of what happened to Harry from my hat shop. Poor bloke moved away the day after he dated you. He had hat experience. You know how hard that is to find these days. <clears throat> I remember Harry. <laughs> Hello, Mum. Hadn't heard from you in about a half hour. Starting to get worried. Oh no, this day was a monstrous loss. He's got them all the size of Scotland on his face. How am I supposed to even remotely be my charming self? Or even halfway get off with him while all I can think about is melanoma and the hair that likely grows from it. Hmm? Oh, cheeseburger. Why? Yes, I realize how many calories there are. Goodbye, Mum. Chip. Sorry, um, hi, how are you? Did you come for your free fruit? Maybe, um, some juicy mel melons. Um, perhaps a banana? It's banana weather. Corey. Priscilla. Actually, I'm late to a meeting yet again. Just wanted to come by and say hi. Maybe some other time. Some other time. Right, it's a date. No. No, not like a date, date. I mean like, um, day of the week. Hmm. And do you think that might be? How about one week from today? What? Superb. Hi. Fancy going to the coffee shop around the corner, or do you need to wait until your shift is over? No, no, I can, I can shut down any time. I'm the boss, so no need to ask who's the boss. <laughs> Me. I'll um, meet you there. Sounds good, boss. Brilliant. His name already. So, mouldy fruit stand. <laughs> Shut up, I know. Mouldy, mouldy. I can't help the name I got. I mean, I guess I could change it, but my grandfather opened it, so I feel like I should keep it. Mm. And besides, if I changed it, I wouldn't get to field hundreds of inane comments from idiotic Hello! Guys. Looks like I've got your regular again, I mm -mm. see. No, go away. Thank you. You always like this. If by this you mean charming and beautiful, only on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and some weekends. Well, besides that, obviously. I mean, blunt and a little hot around the edges. Oh. Um. I've been asked that before. I, I, I suppose I. Why, it's better than your wanker hats galore. My life is so terrible, I'm gonna kill myself. It's Kate, huge. Maybe? I don't mean to be a jerk myself, but you have to have noticed that your demeanor is a bit off putting to some people. Perhaps you start off a little nicer. Maybe you'll have more luck with people. Assuming you want more luck with people. Maybe you try, and then you just push people away. Maybe I'm not trying to have better luck with people. 
Maybe some people should just mind their own business and not ask someone out just to call them on the character flaws. I have plenty of friends and people close to me, I'll have you know. You're the rude one. Just because you're handsome and probably smell great doesn't mean that you can say stuff like that to me. don't even know me. For all you know, I am a considerate, caring, thoughtful girl. And you caught me on a bad day. Dear Corey, I'm sorry for the way I responded to you. You took me off guard, and I realize now that you were trying to help. Would you consider seeing me again? Sincerely, Snarky Fruit Stand Girl. Good night, Roger. Just as easily could have been somebody else. Just as easily could have been somebody else. Just as easily for what it means to me could have been somebody else. Da da da. No, I'm serious. I think they're quirky and I kind of fancy them. Oh, yeah, of course. No, whatever you think. Old school, bray or modern. Oh, listen, Paul, I've got to go. Yeah, I'll come in for a fitting next week. Bye. Hey, how are you? Fine. Just selling some fruit. Listen, I should probably apologize. I. No, I needed to hear that. You. You were just... No, it's just that... It's just... Why don't we forget about it all? Start over? Yeah. I like that. So, do you want to grab some yes. cup? Of course. Very much so. Da-la-la, babies, that daddy has gone to the moon. My feet were sold to this wine. My feet were so baby long ago Oh, Mary, I've left you a pile of dough Under the floorboards near Billy Joe's radio Baby, I love you, but there's no chance Baby, I love you, but
Oh.